Five mistakes most men make with women. Hi, my name is Magda Kay and for almost a decade I've been helping men understand women better. Today I want to share with you five most serious mistakes men make with women. I'm not talking about opening the door for her or kissing her good morning. I'm talking about something profound that deeply impacts her. And it's the things that men are simply not aware of. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. I've helped hundreds of men attract great love, get more and better sex, and finally have the relationship where they feel appreciated, valued, and loved. What I'll share with you today comes from the years of research and experience as an intimacy expert. By the way, I post a new video every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to this channel to get even more tips for a great love and sex life. Okay, let me reveal five mistakes men make with women that cost you her love, her respect, and the relationship. Number one assuming you know what's best for her. This can be ordering for her in a restaurant or assuming you know what will make her orgasm because it worked on your past lovers instead of asking her. Making decisions for both of you without consulting her, like where to live, what bank to use and all of those things. Yes, women want you to take lead, but there is a difference between taking lead and not allowing her to decide. The secret is this, you want to ask her first, let her tell you what she likes and wants, and then once you know it, you take over. Let her tell you what she wants and you make sure it's done. So for example, if you want to take her out for dinner, instead of picking a restaurant yourself, ask her, do you like Italian or what do you prefer, sushi or Mexican? And once you know, now you take charge and take care of booking the restaurant. Or ask her about the things that really turn her on and what usually works for her in the bedroom. Then next time you make love, you take charge and do all the things she had told you about. Make sense? Number two, you don't listen. Many men have this almost instinctual reaction to switch off when a woman starts talking too much or nagging. And this is really horrible to a woman. See, the reason why she's talking so much is because she feels you're not listening to her. So by withdrawing, you only make her feel more ignored and nag even more. If it is too much for you, then ask her to finish this conversation later. You could say, Honey, we're arguing here and that won't lead to anything good. Let's take this evening to cool off and finish tomorrow. You'll see that by tomorrow, she won't be so agitated and you'll be able to have a normal conversation. You can also tell her that she is talking too much. It's just how you do it. You could say, for example, Darling, I understand this is important to you. And when you talk so much about it, I struggle to understand. Can you please tell me what you need in five words? Number three, you don't notice her sacrifices. This is a big one and it's something men don't naturally pick on. This is why I'm telling you about it. Women have been conditioned to put themselves second. The husband, kids, house, friends, family, everything comes first. We have been praised for sacrificing ourselves for others. And a woman who doesn't is shamed, considered a bad mother and judged. You as a man don't experience it. Men have not been praised for how good they are at ignoring their own needs and how many sleepless nights they can handle and how many tasks they can juggle at once. So you don't even realize how much she says no to herself in order to say yes to you. You wouldn't do these things, but she, for example, agrees to sex positions that cause her pain because they turn you on. She agrees to wear dresses that are uncomfortable because you like them. She agrees to it later because she is waiting for you. She agrees not to meet her girlfriends because you are free this evening. 
She agrees to travel where you want to. And all with a smile on her face. Because this is what women have been expected to do for centuries. So, what can you do? Say thank you. When she does something for you, really make sure to notice it and appreciate her. Chances are she sacrificed something to do it for you. Number four, not taking initiative. Unfortunately, we have all become very comfortable and passive. If something requires work, we usually avoid it. We want easy and fast, and it's very unattractive. Men don't take initiative where they used to, and women are longing for it. Dirty dishes in the sink? You just let them be. Why? Because you have other things to do. The shelf that needs to be fixed? It's there for three months before you do anything. Planning holidays? Nay, she will do it. So, where could you take more initiative? Yes, it will require you to put in some work, but she will really appreciate it. And number five, not warming her up sexually and instead jumping too fast into sex. I'm not talking here about traditional foreplay, although that too is important. I'm talking about the fact that you can be focused on work and then make a hundred degree switch and be ready for sex. But she doesn't work like that. Well, okay, she does in the honeymoon phase. Women can be just as horny, but once the hormones level up, her body goes back to working differently. You have to put the idea of sex into a woman's mind way before actual sex. Expecting her to be in the mood out of nowhere is a major mistake many men make. And then you feel rejected and think that she doesn't want to have sex with you anymore. This is not true. But if you don't warm her before, her body will simply not turn on. This isn't about her loving or desiring you. It's about biology. So send her naughty texts throughout the day. Take her out for a romantic dinner first. Remember, women's arousal needs to build up. By being mindful of these five things, you'll see your woman will be more responsive, happier, more giving, and you will have the relationship you want. It's a win-win. If you'd like to know more about women, I have an incredible training that I highly recommend. It's called Female Sexuality Decoded, and it teaches you all the secrets about what women need in and outside of the bedroom. These are the things she won't tell you because women are not consciously aware of them, but they do react to them. I created this course because women asked me to. I was holding workshops for women helping them become multi-orgasmic, and they asked me to teach this to men too. This is how Female Sexuality Decoded was born. Hundreds of men are enjoying better relationships and a better sex life thanks to this training. So check the link below this video to become a master of the bedroom. And thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like. It really means a lot to me. And if you're not yet a part of our tribe, make sure to subscribe. I post a new video every Thursday. And make sure to click on the bell icon. You need it to get notified about the next video. Otherwise, you may miss it. My love, it's been great having you here. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.